Fall for him. <laughs> So this is actually a, a static mesh, it's not uh, a skeletal mesh anymore. I made the static mesh in 3ds Max, and um, when you import, you either import without, with the bones and say import as static, or you destroy the bones in a separate version, and then import, uh, and it will automatically choose static for you. And then you can switch back and forth very easily and quickly. So I'm going to set it over to here, and then see if I can get on top of this one. This has proven to be a, a challenging task. <laughs> so, oh, I have to lift, lift off. Woo! I did it! And then turn into ball, and then I can roll around on top of the rock, right? Very ball-like ways. And then jump! And then ball, and bounce, yay! Nice. <laughs> so notice um, that the uh, the physics is quite lovely combined with the static mesh version of the character, and it's a ball. It's definitely a ball. There's no there's no way it's not a ball. <laughs> Just looking at roll down this rock. Come on, thing. I created a jump feature to make it. Um, to make it so I can bounce like this. Whee! So look at it roll down. So it's it's very clearly a very happy little ball, but then turn it back into a fellow. But if I time it, I can turn it back into a nope, not that. <laughs> jump. And then nope. <laughs> I'll get it one of these days. He's all excited. And then um and that's that. So notice the transitions to and from are obviously very fast, because I had to attempt that sequence several times, but it, it doesn't take a long transition at all. Right? And, uh, and then you can tether and do other things as human and shoot, or claw, in this case. And then headbutt, and headbutt, and headbutt, but then turn into ball, and jump, and roll. So it's very fast, smooth transitions. Gameplay-wise, that's what's most important. And it works! <laughs> And you have all your cool ball mechanics. <laughs> and I actually really like ball form. <laughs> and I modified my camera so it works with the ball completely. And, uh, and uh, you know, you can look around like this in human form, but then you can go into ball form. And you can do the same thing, so everything stays the same. I don't actually destroy the pawn, I just hide it. Uh, and then move it up very far away. So there's no memory loss, you're not deleting the pawn. Currently, you are deleting and recreating the uh, character ball, but I did that mainly because if I, I don't, you'd have to create a special chamber to put it in to make sure it doesn't roll off somewhere uh, or somehow disable it or something, but I, um, that's something you can figure out specific to your project. But uh, this is the basic core of it, which is called gameplay, and then everything else can be refined in details. But see, the gameplay is solid of changing to and from to do fancy tricks like this. <laughs> Enjoy.